don't forget to wear your headphones. What a ridiculously long day and a horrible, horrible orientation. (laughs) Am I right? Rumi? Mole, aren't you gonna like say hi? I I mean, um, you know, we're gonna be spending a lot of time together. Probably. You know, since we're going to be living in the same room and stuff, so... I was just trying to make conversation, but you sort of... Ignored me. Oh, no. I mean... Yeah, it what uh, It doesn't matter. Um... Hey. I'm Chessa. Oh, you used to know someone named Chessa? That's, um, cool, I guess. So, I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. I mean, I ended up with a really cute roommate. (laughs) What, you don't think so? Oh, come on, don't be shy. You're totally adorable. I look familiar. Oh, aren't you flirty? Oh, you mean it. Oh, God, I hope not. I was such a bitch in high school. (laughs) I mean it. No, if you knew me from then, we would not be on good terms, that's for sure. Oh. Oh my god. That's who you are. I thought you looked familiar. Wow. No, I, um... How are you? I guess. I mean, <laughs> what do I even say? Uh, sorry. Oh, wow. Well. Um. Look, yeah. Uh, I don't want to, you know, start making up excuses or anything, but, well, we were kids, and I'm not like that anymore, so. I see. Well, if it's any consolation... Life went sort of downhill for me after that. Karma, I guess. But I've been doing pretty okay recently. How are you? Yeah, that's that's good. That sounds great, actually. You, uh, seem to have a lot going on for you. <laughs> So, um, roommates, huh? That seems like fate or something, right? Or hell in your case. Well, I mean, not to sound like totally cuckoo, but everything happens for a reason, right? I mean, what are the chances? Right, yeah. 
God, I feel like I'm in a soap opera right now. Um... Well, there are a lot of answers to why I acted that way, but I think the one that stands out the most is because I liked you. I know that's like really crazy and you probably can't even comprehend that, but I, um, I always wished we could be close and... I don't know. Somehow, some way in my mind, <laughs> I thought that I was gonna woo you, you know? I thought you're just gonna, like, wake up one day and realize, yeah, she's the one. <laughs> but it never happened, and you just hated me, and then I realized I was awful, and who would fall in love with someone who treats them that way? Mm. Well, there's a long sob story for that, but none of that is really important. I just, I'm sorry. I know I probably put you through hell, but I didn't do it because I hated you or because I thought you were a bad person. I just, I didn't know how to... I can't even think. I didn't know how to act around you, I guess. I'm really sorry for all that, you know. No, I, I'm not just saying it. I, I am. I remember... There was one day where I spilled something on you, and it was totally an accident, but obviously I kind of played it off like it was on purpose, and well, I was going to go apologize to you, and when I found you, you were <laughs> crying and stuff. I don't know. Well, part of me always knew that, like, I was coming off bad, but that was when I knew, you know, that I was hurting you, and, and that's why I ended up changing schools. I just, I couldn't stand to be around you knowing that I affected you so negatively, because... It was never supposed to be like that. <laughs> God, like the crappiest love confession ever, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, God, for a long time. <laughs> yeah. How many years are we going to school together? I was totally head over heels for you. Not that you would have been able to figure that out. <sighs> Riddle of the century. Yeah, well... Again, not to get all sobby and boo-hoo, but I guess my home life wasn't great and... Well, I saw my parents treat each other like that, so I figured they're in love, right? And if I'm in love with this person, then that's how they should be treated. Which obviously wasn't right, and I ended up figuring that out. Which is when I put distance between us. Quite literally. <sighs> I mean... Moving to another state was a bit extreme and a crazy adjustment, but yeah, it's 
probably for the best. Well, I got to start over at least. It's better than nothing, I guess. I'd like to think I did. Better and stuff. I actually have, like, friends now. So that's cool. <laughs> no. Still single. Maybe that's for the best, too, though, you know? I know how to treat people better, I guess, but... I still... Maybe don't know how to articulate a feeling of love. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty intense. You know, pretty out there. But, um... You know, maybe we should, like, get something to eat. Yeah, on me, I'll pay. No, I mean it, for real. I don't mind. I mean, you know, request to change roommates were like a week ago, so we're kind of stuck together. We might as well make the best of it, you know? And if I can start off by doing something, anything nice, I want to, you know? Yeah. Um, and maybe, you know, when we get back, if we're not too totally tired, uh, I could help you unpack or something. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, I'll let you get your shoes on and I'll wait outside for you, I guess. <laughs> cool. See you out there then.